what's up guys and welcome back to Anything New York from here in Central Park. So today I'm gonna to be taking you along with me through Central Park as we go to five unique, interesting things that I feel like you guys should all come to Central Park and do. Also, it's just a perfect day out and I really wanted to make a video here in Central Park so this is uh, kind of my excuse to do so. It's gonna be a fun, interesting video, I promise though. And I am also here with Abraham. Ta -da! Abraham has been helping me out with the channel now for the past week. Even though it, it feels like he's been it's helping longer, out. Yeah. It feels it's like longer. it's been a month. And now the first spot that we're gonna go to is Strawberry Fields Memorial. Now, the first spot on this list is here at Strawberry Fields. And if you come up to 72nd Street and Central Park West, you will be at John Lennon's old building, right here, which is called the Dakota. And unfortunately, where he was shot and killed in 1980. So if you are a big fan of John Lennon or the Beatles, this is a must see in New York City. And a cool fun fact is that they call it Strawberry Fields because his wife knew that his favorite song was Strawberry Fields Forever. So when they were making this memorial, they thought that was a very fitting name for it. So if you're looking for it, just type in Strawberry Fields on Central Park and you'll easily be able to find this. There's also typically someone who is dressed up like John Lennon and playing the Beatles. So if you wanna come here, it's a really unique experience. Now, the next thing that you have to check out if you're here in Central Park is this right here, the Belvedere Castle. Yes, there is a castle here in Central Park. All right, Abraham was doing some research on the Belvedere Castle because there's actually some pretty interesting significance to it. What did you find out on the internet? So this place, it was like a weather station. So basically like people come here to research about the weather in New York City from this building. So this is like, or once was the weather tower. Hmm. Interesting. And if it is open, like you can go up there. We just you can get a really cool shot of the central park. Yeah, if you do come here when hopefully it's back open again, there are these balconies and platforms where you can get such a unique and cool perspective of the rest of Central Park. So when we were coming up with this list, Abraham mentioned this right here. The whisper bench. And supposedly you can whisper from one end all the way over to the other side. But I didn't know that this was a memorial for Charles B. Stover, who I'm just finding out now is the founder of Outdoor Playgrounds, who devoted his life to public service. Wow. So this whisper bench is from the guy who invented Outdoor Playgrounds. One of the greatest inventions ever. Now time to try out this whisper bench. All right, Abe. Let's try out the whisper bench. Wow, I can, I can actually hear you. The Central Park whisper bench. It works. Now for the fourth thing that we're doing here in Central Park is right here at Cleopatra's Needle. And this is super interesting because it is actually the oldest man-made monument in Central Park. So this was a part of Cleopatra back in Egypt, and it was once in Alexandria in Egypt, and then later was sold to London, which was then sold to the US. So if you are a history buff like myself, this is a must see here in Central Park. And you can even see on the side still that they have hieroglyphics where I think it's even translated right at the bottom and you can read what the hieroglyphics say. Now, the fifth thing is the Alice in Wonderland statue. This was actually a gift by a sculptor who was good friends with Pablo Picasso and born in Spain. And this has been here since the 1950s, and ever since then, little kids have been climbing on it, since even if you look it up on the Central Park website, it says that you are allowed to climb all over it. As a bunch of kids are doing right now, and as I'm about to do right now as well. They also have these weird 
wise words of wisdom spread out throughout the statue. This one says, Speak roughly to your little boy and beat him when he sneezes. He only does it to annoy because he knows it teases. Some good uh, words of wisdom there for you, Abe. Exactly. So that is going to be it for the five most unique things about here in Central Park. There is so much more to explore here and definitely do plan on making more videos about Central Park. So if you'd like to see those or anything else about New York, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.